In this video, I will be discussing about um, visual interfacing and I'll be demonstrating on how it can be used. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Joy Manifi Designs. We have two types of interfacing. We have the visible interfacing and the non visible interfacing. A visible interfacing is a piece of textile attached to the wrong side of a fabric in order to make it more rigid. They do have um, something like adhesive and this can be applied with a use of iron. As you can see from the video, one part is um, shining and the other part is not shining. While a non visible interface do not have adhesive and must be sewn by hand or machine. So I'm going to be demonstrating on how to use this feasible interface because that is what I always work with and it allows my project to keep its shape. So this interfacing um, comes in um, different uh, colors like uh, white, black and sometimes red and from the video you see the black one looks like sturdier it looks sturdier than the white i and then behind it um comes something like a whitish um, patch or what i call that but it, basically i use this for maybe whenever i want to sew bags that look depending on the fabric uh, i'll be using i go for this and then the white one, maybe anytime I'm making projects like um, hairbands or bow ties, I usually use that on my projects. Okay, in terms of, um, it comes in terms of weight. It comes uh, in light, medium and heavy. And uh, well, it depends on what you are going for. The weight of an interfacing you choose depends on the project you'll be making and the fabric you'll be using. All right, from this uh, um, fabric, I'm gonna be adding the, add the feasible interfacing to it, and then you will see basically what I'm doing. Okay. Um, you have to cut when, while cutting the fabric. You need to cut it. I mean, the, while cutting the interfacing, feasible interface, you need to cut it a way smaller than the fabric because, because that would avoid you cutting out the the edges of the interfacing at the end of your project. Okay, just figure out which side of the interfacing is the ad adhesive portion. By mere looking or feeling it, you should notice which one. Notice that this side looks um, bumpier and shinier due to the glue. And place your fabric wrong side facing up as I'm doing in the video with the adhesive side of the interfacing facing down. Then what I'm going to be doing, you're going to be using um, a hot iron to really press down on top. While doing this, I also sp um, spray water on top that avoids wrinkles on the fabric so you need to be adding pressure while, while ironing this such that it's it becomes so so nice and flat Yeah, I usually add interfacing to my project because it provides um, a level of quality. It just look better and stiffer, you know, so to say, thereby making them durable.
okay i went around ironing them the way um it's supposed to be just make sure you using um amount of pressure just in order to be to the fabric it's very important that you apply pressure as you press down the fusible to your fabric so you can turn around and iron the other side if you like but you can look see the way it looks because after, at the end I, I found that it was really there wasn't any form of opening everything light down as it, it was well ironed and glued to the to the fabric yeah this was what i meant by telling you to cut your um, fusible interface in a way smaller than your fabric because in my own case the i used the same measurement and then i had extra um, fabric of interfacing at the edges so yeah i hope you've been able to <laughs> know what an feasible interfacing is and equally how to use i really want to thank you for watching and please if you haven't subscribed subscribe like share and comment bye